impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody. Why you tell me who record I haven't broke? Colossal Boxing Talk. What's good, YouTube? This is the homie Smooth Cat with Colossal Boxing Talk, and today I have an exclusive interview with King James De La Rosa. How you doing, Mr. De La Rosa? Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm doing all good. Just uh, trying to maintain and Live live life one day at a time. What about you? Same same way. Living living life one day at a time and getting this training and getting ready for the next fight coming up. Okay okay. Speaking on your next fight, okay. Um, <clears throat> as we know, this is a this is a fight where I'm hearing a lot of people mention mentioning like like a lot of negative type things about you, saying that uh that, that this is just a tune up fight. What is your what is your take on, on on the people who respond to this fight like that? Uh, um, I mean, me personally, it don't bother me, man. Uh, I mean, people always have their input. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there ain't nothing I can do about it. But uh, come September thirteenth, <laughs> it's gonna be a totally different story for everybody, and everyone's gonna <laughs> everyone's gonna be flipping flipping their stories around. Okay, okay. So I mean, so it's, so it's basically like 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 you take the uh, the negative feedback and you use it as motivation. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, cause um, I mean, if I was to look at it and say, oh man, like going into it, I already beat myself going into this fight, and I I know for this fight, I know what I can do, and I know what I can do when I'm at my best, and that's how I feel right now. Like I'm at my best right now. You know, I came up here to Dallas to come train for a week with Earl Spence. Got some work in with him, so I'm okay. feeling good right now. Okay, okay. So I, I, uh, I, I know Errol Smith is a top uh, upcoming fighter. So, so, so I know they got to be some good sparring going on between you two. Yes, yes. Um, it's some good sparring, um, <laughs> but I don't think you'll catch on YouTube. But uh, it's it's sparring, <laughs> and I, I mean, I know. I know that Angulo and Earl Spence don't have the same uh, the same style. Right. Earl Spence is a lot quicker than him in the southpaw, but um, I mean, just getting the rounds in, you know, Earl Spence, uh, um, he can go in the rounds in, and we went at it. We 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 going at it for ten rounds, you know. So I mean, I'm ready to go. Okay, okay, hey, hey, that's good, that's good. Okay, now is this something about Angulo, the? Um, What's one of his biggest weakness or something that that you plan to exploit that he that um that that he's not too good at? Um, to be honest, I don't really want to go into much into the game plan, but uh, okay, okay. Uh, we 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 seen a lot, you know. Um, my my trainer, my 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 team, they've seen a lot um, what he does wrong and stuff like that, and they've also seen what he does good, but uh, them. His good and his bad don't weigh out too too even, you know. So his bad weighs are higher than the good. So, so we're about to expose it all those September thirteenth. Okay, okay. Now, now I'm gonna ask you this. Now, are you planning on targeting that uh, his recently injured eye? Oh no no no! I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna target his whole his whole body. His body <laughs> you know, that's the whole target for me. I'm not worried about his eye. You know, if it comes, it comes. But I'm not worried about it. Uh, he, he he's in the field. He's in the field. The the shots just as well as the body shots. Okay, okay, okay. So are, are you um <clears throat> so far like you say with training camp is um is is defense something that that you're working on or or you just or you just just like basically working on everything just trying to get everything wrapped up. Oh, I'm working on everything. Um, I mean defense is a is a big key factor too with the way Angulo punches. But uh, we've been working on everything, man. I've touched up on everything that I felt that I need to, and then when we need to on for this fight as well. So uh, I mean, it, it, it's perfectly as planned. Okay, okay. Now, um, now in this fight, like you say, it, it, it's not. I mean, like I said, I, I don't want you to go too much into the game plan. But uh, I was asked this question to ask you. So, um, hey, are you planning on boxing and moving? Or 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 at times, are you planning on getting in there and uh, going going toe to toe in spots with them? Oh, uh, I'm gonna mix it up. 
I'm okay. gonna mix it up. You'll see. Um, I mean, there, there's ways to explore them on both ways on outboxing them and on the inside. We've seen a lot of things that it goes wrong too. So either way, he's gonna be ex uh, exposed either way. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Now, now um, I'm gonna ask you for a few of your thoughts on the main event. Now, like you say, I mean, not to take away from your fight, but but do you believe that um, that Madonna has a shot, or do you believe May Mayweather's going to change his plan up and just dominate? Well, um, in boxing, everybody has a shot. You know, everyone has that one one punch chance. You know, and, and Madonna's a big puncher. Yes, sir. But uh, I don't know. I, me personally, I, uh, it can go either way. But I just think that Floyd's going to do like he did with Cast with uh, Castillo the first time when. Everyone thought that fight was close, and then the second fight came, Mayweather blew him out, you know, so maybe he'll do that. I mean, if he if he sticks to the same game plan, I think it's going to be a, a big closer fight than for uh, for Madonna. I mean, because you can't, you can't try to take somebody out of the rhythm when you're giving them their game plan that they can do. I mean, it's kind of hard to, to, to change your style to get somebody – an age of a fighting that that, that that everybody wants to see. So, I mean, it's a toss-up, though, either way. I mean, Madonna's coming in to win, too, I'm pretty sure, because after the last fight, I mean, pretty sure you felt he won. It was a close fight, I, what I saw. But, um, I mean, who knows? Yeah, I, I feel I feel it was very competitive too. Uh, I tipped the nod to Floyd 7-5 to five after watching it numerous times. Uh-huh. But, um, I, I, I huh? thought they could have gone either way. I mean, I seen a seven five. It could have gone seven five either way for Floyd or Madonna. I mean, either way. But um, I mean, okay. I mean, who knows what the judges see? Okay. Now I'm also hearing that that, that your fight with Angulo is at middleweight. Now, are you a natural middleweight? Is this where you plan on campaigning, or is it just for this fight? Oh no, it's just for this fight. Uh, I I don't plan on, on campaigning here at 160. Uh, I do plan on coming back down. Um, I mean, it's just that this fight was the opportunity that I got at this weight. I mean, and as well as Angulo moving up too. I mean, it, it, it it's a it's a win situation for me. <laughs> I feel. Okay. Okay. All right. And hey. I feel how how they're very. I think they're kind of underestimating me and my skills. So. You I know mean, what? I, 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 I believe I, I believe you're being underestimated too. I really do. I believe you're being underestimated in this one too. Okay. Um. All right. Now, so 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 since you'll be going back down to 154, is it okay? Say, let, let, let's say you get get an impressive win over in Gulo. Is it anybody at 154 who, who you're looking at? I mean, that that, you, that you're like trying to target for a potential fight. Uh, to be honest, it's not even up to me, man. It's all up to my management, my manager, Adrian Clark, and uh, my team, you know. I'm not going to sit there and call people out because, I mean, I know how the business works. Right. I mean, so it's not for me to sit there and say, I want to fight this guy, and oh, he don't want to fight, he's a punk, or he's scared. Man, I know how this business works. I've been in it too long. I've been pro since I was 17 years old, since I was 17 years old, and I'm 26 now. So I mean, I know how it works. I'm not gonna sit there and call nobody out. I'm just gonna say, whoever my management, my manager, Adrian Clark, brings me, you know, uh, shit, I'm all for it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That that, hey, that that that's a very respectable, um, respectable form. Um, let me see. Is okay now. Okay, also now at the overall landscape of 154. Well, you have guys like Canelo, Arizlandi Lara, Demetrius Andrade, and things of that sort. Is it uh, is it any guy who, who who you who you've been watching who you feel who you feel has the potential to like take over that division? I mean, skill wise, I mean, everybody in that division has skills. I mean, that's why they're considered the top guys. You can't sit there and say that. Um, all the guys that are up there are up there because oh they got it easy. No, no, everyone's up there because because of their skills. So I mean, I think it's an open division. Um, skills, skills. I mean, there's nothing else to say. I, I, it's an open division. That's all I can say. Okay. All right. Now, hey, I want to I want to get your thoughts on uh, a fight that's it's a it's a few months away. Uh, the Pacquiao versus Chris Algieri fight is. Okay. Okay, now, 
Hey, are you one of the ones who believe that Pacquiao is just going to go and massacre him, or do you believe that Algeria has a shot? I, well, I won't say a shot because, like, as you say, all fighters have a shot. But um, do, do you feel I, that, huh? I think I think Algeria has a real good chance, too. I mean, not just saying because, like how I said, every fighter has a chance, that one-punch chance, but Algeria does have good boxing skills, and he can't overcome any adversity because look what he did with... Um, Ruslan, Ruslan Provodnikov. Who? Ruslan Provodnikov. Ruslan, look what he did with Ruslan, and he over he overcame that. I think what what, what round was it? The second round is I got uh, totally the, the very first round. The first round, I mean, yep. he overcame that, and I mean that that's kind of hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can ask any fighter with with kind of a blind eye, really. Yeah. And, I mean that. I mean that takes a lot to come through and pull yourself through like that. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> now, um, now, now, with, with your brother Juan, is there is there any news on like a potential fight for Juan, or or, or is, is he uh, is he in camp with you also? Oh no, no, but uh, he is training. I believe he should have come back in. Uh, I think sometime in October, he should be looking for a comeback already. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, so we should both be on it. He should be on it. Probably I'm on. Um, Pretty sure I think they were talking about October for him. So okay, that, hey, that's good. That, that's good. Hey, hey, it's nice to see the two De La Rosa brothers back in the ring. Yes, and, sir. And and, and and hopefully you guys can uh hopefully management and everything works out where where you guys can can become a lot more active because a lot a lot of the fight fans aren't too familiar with you guys. But as all as I tell people from from my my perspective of seeing both of you guys fight multiple times, I tell them both of you guys are highly skilled. Both have decent to good power, and both uh, y'all both bring a lot to the table. Yes, sir. So now, uh, now uh, well, hey, I know you said the, the thing about like you didn't you didn't really want to call out anybody, but I, I know I read an article a while back about you saying um, you would like for you and your brother to face the Charlotte brothers. Oh yes, most definitely. You know, they, they, I mean, they're the talk around. Texas right now, but uh, little to forget that uh, me and my brother were doing this before they were even pro. You know, people were talking about us before them, and then uh, I mean now they got they got their fights and they got up there and <laughs> I mean so so anytime I mean if if we can get those I mean a brother versus brother match anywhere here in Texas, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're for it. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, that would be very interesting since, like you say, all four of you guys are from Texas. Yeah, I mean, and we're not too far from each other. They're from Houston and we're from Harding. We're about, about four and a half, maybe five hours away. Okay, okay. So, so hey, only thing I can say, hopefully somewhere down the line, hopefully we can see that. It'll be uh, it'll be battles of, of two uh, two uh, sets of brothers because all, all four of you guys have excellent skill sets. So it'll be some good technical boxing. Uh, yeah. for, for the boxing purists, the, all the boxing purists will definitely enjoy those fights. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> okay, uh, now, what what do you think about um, the Andre Ward situation with uh, his promoter? Oh, man, um, to be honest, I mean, everybody goes through it. I've gone through it. <laughs> um, I mean, that that that's when it comes to you having, I mean, somebody else to cover your legal work for you, so so you're not worried about doing it, and uh, you have somebody that knows what they're doing with that part to take care of that. So, I mean, because what I hear is Andre Ward like having to try to take care of some of it, I guess, and I mean it's hard for the fighter to 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 come into the to the to that type of business aspect and try to say how things are going to work and stuff like that. That's what, you, I mean, you got to let your people take care of it for you and, and, and have a good team. Okay, okay. All right, now, 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 this is gonna be like 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 a bit of a, um, a, a somewhat of a fantasy matchup. Now, if Andre say we, we're gonna say that Andre Ward is back in the ring, if Andre okay. Ward was to be fighting Gennady Golovkin, who would you give the advantage to in that fight? Oh man, um, <laughs> Golovkin's a nice puncher, strong guy. 
But I just think Ward knows what to do in every fight. He knows what to do when, no matter who's in front of him. He, he's too smart, and he knows what moves to make. So I'd have to, I'd have to say Ward. Okay, okay. Now you you got war about like a decision, late stoppage, or no? I would say decision. Okay, um, okay. I really don't see him stopping now because that guy has too much heart, too strong. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you this question: In your career, out of all the guys you faced, the Tyrone Brunsons of the world, uh, which guy in your career do you believe was the hardest puncher that you ever faced? Uh. <laughs> Hardest puncher, man. I'm gonna have to say, um, it was probably Alan Conyers, man. He dropped me three times. I mean, he caught me. I mean, <laughs> there's, I mean, there ain't nothing to say about it. He dropped me. I mean, he was probably the the, the, the hardest puncher that I probably fought. Well, I mean, like you say, even though he did drop you, you you get up at like a warrior. You continue fighting. You didn't yeah. you didn't just lay down. So I mean. So, so you know, respect goes your way for that because it, it's not. It's a lot of guys who would have got hit and just let, and, and just wouldn't have got up. So yeah. much, much, uh, much respect to you for that for getting up. Thank you. Thank now, you. okay, now, okay, now. Also with the uh, with the Angulo fight, him being a power puncher, are you at the least bit worried about Angulo's power? Um, I mean, uh. I'm not worried about it, but I mean it's something that I am gonna be looking looking at that I know that I have to do worry about though. I mean, from what I've seen, what we've seen, I mean, there's nothing you can take from him. He is a puncher. I mean, it's just that he's. I mean, there's a lot of flaws in the man, and and it's just I'm gonna have to capitalize on those and and his shots. I'm I I can't get too careless. Because, like you said, I mean, he is a power puncher, and, and all it takes is one shot. Most of, okay. Now, now this is another thing because I I haven't heard too much about this. Now, now, do you think uh, Angulo will be uh, surprised by your power at all? Oh yeah, he'll be surprised when, 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 once I hit, once I start hitting him. I mean, like, like, um, shit. Since I've been in the business, man, everyone sees me as a baby. They, they don't see my body structure. They don't see muscles on me and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of people get surprised when, once I hit them. And, and I've gotten after plenty of fights, people came up to me that I fought and they told me, man, I didn't think you could hit like this, man. Because I, I look at you and you look like a little kid. No, no six pack. Uh, <laughs> your arms ain't even that big. I mean. I carry my Mexican genetics, and <laughs> you know, I, I, I can punch. Okay, okay. Oh, um, <clears throat> also, um, another fight on the card with the um, Mickey Bay versus Miguel Vasquez. Yeah. I, yeah, I know that. I think that's the fight that's, I believe, is after your fight or before your fight. Yeah, it's right after my fight, I believe. Okay, okay. So... Now, what are your thoughts on this one? Uh, who do you favor in that? Dang, that's a good toss-up, too. I don't know, man. Um, shoot, it's going to go down to to whoever executes their game plan better. I don't know. Mickey Bay has some good skills, too, though, and Vasquez is good. I think it, it – I mean, that one's a toss-up. Hey, hey, I agree. Hey, I'm still up in the air on that one myself. I'm, I'm like – I'm like, man. Right to pick who, who on that one. That, one, that one's a good matchup. I mean, shoot. I, I, I wouldn't know who. I couldn't pick. Who, I couldn't say who, who I thought was going to win because, like I said, they both have the skills and it's a toss up on that one. Okay. Now, out of, out of all of the current fighters that are out there today, who's is, is uh, do you have a favorite fighter of all time or a favorite fighter of today who, who every time he fights, you, you, you glue to the TV to watch him? Oh man, I, I, I um, no really favorite fighter. I mean, I like watching the old school fights. Those were like Alexis Arguello and stuff like that. I okay. mean, I, he was probably one of my favorite fighters of all time. But uh, right now with boxing, I, 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 I just love the sport so much. I watch boxing no matter who's on TV, who it is. I, I'll watch it. My eyes are stuck to the TV. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let me see, let me see. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so let's um, what's what's the guy's name? Holy damn! Sorry about that. Uh, okay, um, 
with the situation uh, at light heavyweight with uh, Sergey Kovalev versus Bernard Hopkins. Now, what? Now, what are your thoughts on that one? Do, and if Bernard Hopkins win, do you believe he should be placed? I mean, his his, his rankings on the um, pound for pound best ever ratings. Do you think he should go up dramatically with a win over the guy? Who's proclaimed as the most dangerous fighter at uh, uh, 175? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I, I've never seen, I never seen D Hop say no to a fight. I mean, everyone that that he calls out or calls out him, I mean, he's basically fighting and and for his age, man, he's doing things that I think younger fighters can't even do now. So uh, as of right now, I I got D Hop <laughs> pound for pound right now. Even though he's not number one, I, I, I would say he's number one, man, because this guy, I mean, he, he's, he's... Hey, he, 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 he's an alien, as he said. <laughs> yeah, he's an alien. There you go. <laughs> it's, you know, like you say, it, it's the, the things that, that he does in the ring, it's just... It, 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 it wows me because, like I say, I, I know I picked against him a few times, and, yeah. man, man, he's made me look bad. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I can never ride against B-Hop, never. I don't care who it is, how young they are, then B-Hop, uh, I, I, I can't ride against B-Hop, man. <laughs> there ain't no way. Man, hey, like you say, I, hey, hey, I learned my lesson though, because I, I, I think the last time I predicted someone to beat him, it was Tavoris Cloud, and he taught me my lesson. Oh, yeah, yeah, he sure did teach him a lesson. Man, he, 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 and, he's, and I think with him, he made it look easy too. And that's because, I mean, look at all the people that were having problems and Tavares Cloud were beating and, yep. and Brian Hopkins went in there and didn't make it look easy. Man, it, it, it's like he, I mean, it, it's like, like he's otherworldly. That, that's like in the fight with Pascal. He, he Pascal looks looks tired as ever. Bernard Hopkins in the middle of the ring doing push-ups. I'm like, what? you <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Yo, I mean. That, that's what that's, that's what I tell you. Somebody who wants it, that just I mean, training, training all around, training all the time, all the time. And and I look at him, and I'm like, man, and I'm young, and and I gotta be, I gotta get myself up there too. And so that's what pushes me a lot more too, because if B Hop can do it at his age, I, there ain't no reason why I cannot do it at my age. Most definitely, most definitely. Hey, hey, uh, hey uh, I, I can say like, uh, yeah, I like your fire and your power. Most definitely. Um. Oh, this is the segment where uh, where one of our mutual Facebook friends asked for a shout out. So shout out to George Arona. What's up, George? Uh, George, what's up, George? But um, like I say, I, I'm not gonna keep you too long, champ. I'm uh, I'm gonna let you let you go back, uh, let you relax, and or or get you some extra training in whatever it is you got planned to do. But All right. I, I want to truly let you know I, I appreciate you granting me this interview and no me. Problem. Me and my other uh, teammates at Colossal Boxing Talk, we're here to support. We're supporting you and wishing you the best of luck in your fight uh, coming up with Alfredo Angulo. Thank you, thank you. Um, hopefully, um, after the after the fight, um, when you get your win, hopefully we can uh, uh, hopefully we can get another uh, another interview with you. Most definitely, most definitely. Okay, okay. Well, hey, like I say, I, I want to thank you for doing this again and. Have a good night, my man. Yes, sir. You too. All right. Take it easy. This is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys hit that like button for me. Leave your comments in the comment section. I will get back to you and go to the, uh, the main page and hit the subscribe button. Also, go over to Facebook and like us at Colossal Boxing Talk. You can uh, go to Twitter and follow us at Colossal CBT. This was Smooth Cat with a <clears throat> exclusive interview with Jane, King James De La Rosa, and I'm out.